Why do you need new shoes for Japan? Uh, <laughs> because I have one pair and they're pretty worn out. And I ordered a bunch of Solomons, but they haven't arrived. <laughs> Solomons slacking. <laughs> Alright, Paul, we just left Dick's. What'd you get? Air Max 95s. Made by? I'm just kidding, I don't know. I got Nike Wild Trail shoes, so Japan better be ready. <laughs> That's pretty warm. I almost put my jacket on too. Yeah, it's supposed to be like 85 today. Yeah. So Paul, where are we at right now? We're at the Kansas City International Airport. Uh, we my first flight over to Houston. And then once we land in Houston, we get, up, we get onto our flight to Tokyo, Japan. And unfortunately, there's only three of us now. So how was the flight? Terrible. <laughs> it was fun. I slept half of it. Yeah, because you sleep last So where are we currently at? Tokyo. I wish I was feeling a little better. A little bit more talkative. <laughs> you got some great breweries yeah, Feeling it. <laughs> Feeling it. What is that, spring? Oh, yeah. He's about to sneeze. Huh? He's about to sneeze. Yeah. Can you feel the spring? Feeling it. So it's been 24 hours since we left U.S. No, 36, because it's 7 p.m. now. We left at 7 a.m. The 31st, 7 p.m. June 1st. That's 7 2. You make it sound like it's like Captain's Log. We haven't slept in 36 hours. I probably look like I haven't slept in 37 hours. got that sweet 5 o'clock shadow going. More like 5 week shadow going. <laughs> so tough. And my allergies are killing me. Killing it. So I've been sleeping, trying to the whole time. Sweating. I had to take my hat off. It's so hot. We're officially leaving the airport. We had fresh air for about five minutes in the last 36 hours. I think that's what's killing me is the recycling, the air conditioning air, all the people walking around in masks. Pages over there just fine reading a book. Book you read, Paige? The fault in our star. Oh. <laughs> Depressing. <laughs> Guy just passed us in a dress suit, dress suit on a scooter. You have all that stuff? Yeah. yeah. Welcome! 
Well, we just finished our second round here in Japan. Um, what do you, uh, how do you feel about the courses? I like them. They're pretty open. They're on a golf course. A lot of sand traps, a lot of greens, lots of OVs, and then there's quite a bit of monkey wire you gotta avoid, which is pretty cool. Haven't seen a monkey yet, but <laughs> waiting to. But uh, the course, yeah, like I said, they're open, so every hole is fair. You know, there's righty, lefty, roller, whatever route you want to take. And uh, the lower course is a lot longer. Uh, we played that yesterday. We we're still a little tired from the flight and stuff, so we're gonna play that one tomorrow and try to learn it a bit more. Played the upper course today, a little shorter. Um, I think it's it was easier to learn, I think more because we're awake now. Um, but uh, that upper course I played today and got quite a few more birdies up there than I did on the lower course yesterday. But both courses are fair and they're a lot of fun. Have you seen uh, felt any difference between throwing your regular disc and your 150 class disc? Um, you know, there is a difference, uh, but mostly I think it's just mental and trusting them. Because uh, once you've thrown them at least five times, you know how they're going to fly. And then it's just throwing them and trusting them on the line that you learned them. What do you think about Japan so far? It's beautiful. I mean, this we're quite a bit away from Tokyo. We're up in the mountains right now. I guess kind of kind of some, like, I guess volcanic activity area with these mountains and hills. They got the hot springs. And then just the different elevation chains that they have on this course and then you can see all around it. I'm sure you'll see a lot of it in the footage. One of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's awesome. And then seeing the different culture, the different foods, the people, just how courteous they are. It's, it's pretty awesome. How hard is it with the, uh, the language uh, barrier that we have here? Uh, I mean, they know a little bit of English. I don't know any Japanese, which I could do a little better on my part, but, you know, it's, they understand a lot of people traveling, a lot of different languages regardless, so English is one that pretty much everyone's going to and, you know, kind of trying to communicate with, but, you know, it's, it's difficult, but it's a lot easier than what it could be. And what do you, what do you think about, like, the clubhouse, the, the way that hero set everything up? It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. The most beautiful clubhouse I've ever seen. Uh, you know, some of the some of the holes are just you know, just I guess you could describe them as majestic. You know, you're throwing down a hill. Um, you're throwing down hills. You just got <laughs> just huge drop offs next to them. And then the 18th green on the lower course, just like any golf course you would see. You know, at the Masters and the U.S. Open, you got the clubhouse in the background of the shot going lead you know leading up to the final uh, basket and it's just a view that I've only seen here and might only see here but hopefully in the future there'll be a lot more.